flashbacks are very, very, very difficult to do. You can do a flashback in a movie very easily because you just take the camera and you can, you know, the old flashbacks, you'd wavy, wavy something, and then you, and you come back to the same place, like in Casablanca. When, um, on the stage, they're very hard to do because you don't want to stop the forward movement of a play. Um, so somehow or another, the, uh, if you use a flashback, you have to be able to keep the play going, as in Death of a Salesman. Arthur Miller does it with masterful. Because, but you never feel the play is stopping to go back to something in the past. In fact, one of the devils of writing plays is finding wonderful things about the past and wanting to put them in. I wrote a play about uh, Hermann Goering at the Nuremberg Trials, and I had all these speeches in there that were just great stuff, and we had the first run-through at Louisville, and I said, oh, geez. And I cut 10 pages out of it that night, and the, the, what I cut were these beautiful, great speeches about the past because you stopped the play. So you can use time changes. Now I think since people are, are used to fast-forwards and quick-cutting from the middle of scenes out at, from the film. Film, is, film now in, influences theater more than theater and much more. Used to be theater-influenced film. Now, forget it. It's film. Film techniques are used in the theater a great deal, so people are more sophisticated about that. But you still have to be careful that your sense of time doesn't stop the movement of the play. It's hard. And uh, now, a lot of the time things comes from the no plays, because that's basically what a no play does. A no play starts in the present. People meet somebody that brings up something about the past, some figure from the past, a ghost or a transformation, a man turns into a woman or a woman turns into a possessed person or something like that and this dance occurs and then it all goes away. Uh, that had tremendous effect on me. Uh, there's a play of mine, a one act, that is done very well called Tennessee, which is really in its structure a no play. And in fact, my first novel, Heathen Valley, <laughs> in a great huge 350 page novel version is really like a no play. A man is remembering the past at the beginning of the book all that past happens, and then he's at the end of it. He's, you know, so so I, I was very deeply uh, influenced by the simplicity of some of the inventions of Japanese theater and Japanese paintings. I, of course, missed a great deal of it, but some of the basics I did get.